those details counting down to the close. The Sensex has topped 74,000 for the first time ever and it's also a fresh record high on the Nifty today as it closes at 22,480. The previous high on the Nifty was 22,440. Banks were very steady through the course of the trading session. The Nifty Bank ending up 400 points. But even the other sectors like IT, FMCG, pharmaceuticals, they saw an intraday recovery buying in the second half of the trading session and that helped with the momentum. But mid caps, small caps, a different picture altogether. The mid cap index down half a percent, small cap index down over a percent. But again, even over there, there was that intraday recovery. Absolutely. So if I talk about some of the major movers and shakers, uh, let's talk about the newsmaker stocks first up. Uh, you have uh, the likes of IIFL Finance as well as JM Finance. Both of, them, both of them going home with losses, but IIFL Finance down 20%. JM Finance better off than the lowest levels of the day, but still down about 10%. Then the damage in the rest of the uh, NBFC space, India Bulls, uh, uh, actually not India Bulls, uh, LNT Finance is the one that's down 7%. <coughs> Mannapuram is down about 5% uh, thereabouts. So a lot of selling coming in. Muthoot actually had a better, better day. Muthoot managed about a 2% gain for itself. Couple of other uh, stocks from the uh, BFSI universe. JNK Bank down 6, South Indian Bank down 5. Uh, some of the PSU names as well came in for some profit taking like IOB which was down about 5%. Uh, just a uh, word on the gainers, again, uh, some of the banks here beyond the Nifty, uh, BOB, etc., they had a good session, so some gains coming in for a few of these things. Okay, well, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of uh, Closing Bell. With that, we have to take your leave, but don't go anywhere because Markets Forward is coming up next.